next? A game that was announced. Here we go, boys. Days ago. They're saving it for the end. Don't be the same trailer. Please, no. Don't be the same trailer. Come on. New stuff. I want to see gameplay. <laughs> Badly. Gunder Wonder Roost. I've located Baby Eagle. Maybe it's an extended trailer. Okay. <clears throat> We're fine. Guess you, me. Big the wrong spot to vacation, eh? our most sacred body it begins this is the first time they've now. just like repeated a trailer right in this whole presentation and it's for the thing that everyone wants to see the most if i could just forget what happened that night the pain even for a second this time it can be different. New stuff? It has to. Okay, that was uh, the smallest amount of new stuff. We got a face reveal of Leon. All right, and guess what? It looks like Leon. Hi, everyone. I'm Yasuhiro. I'm Asha, shocked. Director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4 based on the original 2005 release. Right. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special. Right. While updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Right. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. No. Resident Evil 4 is set six no. years after the events in no. Raccoon City, depicted no. in Resident Evil 2 and Resident no. Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. Okay. The experience of being attacked by hordes of crazed Ganado is truly an iconic moment from Resident Evil. It is. In Can order we to see it? bring out the concept of terror of people controlled by madness, yeah. the Ganado have been completely redesigned. Cool. Let's take a closer look. Okay. At the game itself. Okay. Oh. The over the shoulder oh. camera returns, of course. <laughs> They're delivering. Leon arrives at a dense and They're dangerous doing it. forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Oh, it is so dank. Look forward to future announcements. Where we'll have more information on the game. No, buddy. Resident Evil 4 is being Dude, developed you didn't even go into the house. Xbox Series X, Series Dude. S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th. Dude, you didn't even go into the house, man. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy. So please look forward to it. That Thank was you. the smallest. Thank you so, so much. much. It was it was Leon walking around, bro. <clears throat> It was Leon walking. He didn't even kick something. So, uh, here we go. 
Uh, here's the new screenshots of Resident Evil 8. Uh, it's a spooky, right? Leon entering the house. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, flashlight Leon? Oh, shit. This, this game gonna be, this game gonna be scurry, right? The thing is, Resident Evil 4 isn't inherently a very dark game. In the same way that Resident, what, what I tell you, chat? In the same way that RE2 isn't really a dark game until you get uh, the remake of it. And what do they do? They just turn off all the goddamn lights, right? That's what they do. We're just gonna turn off all the lights. Suddenly RE2 is super spooky. So that's what they're doing here, right? The beginning of the game now is 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 not lit at all. They make the dankest, like the road to the village is essentially the dankest look in place. You know what I love about this? It reminds me of, it reminds me of Resident Evil 8 when you're on the way to, uh, what is it? House Villanueva or what is it? Whatever, Bella Nuevi? I forget what the name of that house is. The Spoopy Puppet House. And you're going through this crazy dank forest and it's super, Benevenido, that's what it is. It's super spoopy, right? Uh, that's what they're turning the village into. They're, they're turning it into mega spoopy place, which is, all right. You know what? I'm very much down for that. It's going to be a different tone. It's going to be, it's going to be different than the original RE4, but I think all of us were sort of expecting that, you know, we were sort of expecting this not to be the same. Uh, thanks windows. Damn. Ganados are looking good. This is this is definitely the dude uh, stooping the fire at the beginning, right? So <laughs> what was that meme I saw on Twitter where it's like, you know, don't mind me, just gonna break into somebody's house and ask him about this missing white woman. <laughs> like Leon just rolls in, knocks the door down, asks the local as he breaks into their house, like, hey, do you know where this missing white girl is? <laughs> Guy's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, now this looks great. This looks really damn cool. Oh, and here, they're actually, I didn't even realize this. There's a bunch of villagers outside here. Uh, man, I really wanted to see that, right? God damn. I really wanted to see Leon engage with Ganados because... They, they even mention it, that this is like a much more professional version of Leon, which it, I mean, of course it is, because he was, a, he was a noob in the first game, in the same way that RE2 to RE4 had Leon, you know, turn into a superhero. That's what I want to see. I know he's not going to be a superhero in this game, but he definitely needs to have some combat prowess outside of just shooting the gun, you know? I don't want to see him rolling around on the floor John Woo style like Resident Evil 6. I want to see Leon have some mechanics, right? That's all I want. I want mechanics. Uh, Leon to be imbued with combat mechanics, like knife skills or something. Maybe you can upgrade knife skills. Maybe there's a certain amount of, like, gunslinging you can do that allow him to fight Ganados faster. Like, there needs to be stuff. It, it, it would be nice if he could suplex people, right? But I want to see him, like, like, he needs some CQC shit to take, to take care of Ganados. That would be great. There needs to be that kind of stuff. Throwing knives? I don't need Leon to throw knives, right? I want to engage with enemies in, in creative and different ways than Resident Evil 4, right? Because Resident Evil 4 at least had that, right? You can kick people, you can, you can tackle them, you could sort of like suplex them, which were, which were depending on what different, what, what, what uh, distance you were in the game, right? If you were further in the game, he got more stuff he can do technically. So that's what I actually want to see. That's what I wanted to see the most here. And unfortunately, we saw so little, it was ridiculous. Um, yeah, Leon is stressed out, right? And this is, this is, this is cool because he actually looks very similar to, uh, he's not buff though, right? He's not buff. I will say he is essentially like, go, it looks like he's gone through some shit, right? Which is interesting. It's an interesting take, right? He looks so tired. I mean, that's what happens when you've been doing this shit for so long. And the president's daughter got jacked. That's what happens. The jacket fuzz, though. The damn. The jacket's fuzz, though. 
Do you see how fuzzy this jacket looks? Holy shit. That's a fuzzy goddamn jacket. My man is stressed. <laughs> um, anyway. I mean, I think, I think all of this stuff looks great. I feel like the big reveal that they had was Leon's face, right? And that's why I'm kind of disappointed with what was shown with RE4, was that they essentially just showed off Leon's face. And I'm like, oh, come on, right? Oh, come on. It's just Leon's face. I want to see you shoot something. Sorry. Sorry. That's why I'm a, I'm a little disappointed with what they showed with RE4.